<laughs> Hello there. I hope it's going all right. If not, pop a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out. Because I think just about anybody can learn to play guitar or any other musical instrument for that matter. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to do another chord, of course, as always. Except that I want to talk a little bit about chords and how they work. So do you remember we started off well, way back with, I think it's lesson two, with D2. And the sort of shape of the, the chord here, there's various other things you could play. So there's a note there you could put in. You could go down to there. You could go down to there. And you can get down to there. And these all sound a bit different, don't they? So I just want to talk about, the, you know, why they sound different. We've touched a little bit on, on major and minor. So let's go give you a new chord D, okay? That is the chord of D major. And it's quite like the D2 with something missing. Oh, I know, I think I'll teach you another chord. How about D minor? And so, um, it's worth touching on <laughs> some of my fingering. I said, well, you know, I can't get my fingers in all of the right places and things like that. A lot of ple people play the D this way around, D major, and then they would still play D minor that way around. Now, when I was teaching myself 40 years ago, or more, more than 40 years ago, um, I couldn't see the sense in that, and so I always, you know, just tuck my finger back there. And so the point is, there are these chords that are just one semitone, one fret apart in the way they sound, in the, the way the, the chord is made. So, so I'm going to just cover all of these kind of things. So there's the suspended fourth chord, is this one, as we're adding this note here, which is one higher than the major chord, which is one higher than the minor chord, which is one higher than the two chord. So all those those four chords on D, and the principle works with any chord. So if you can find that note in the chord that gives you the difference between major and minor, like, like that, or here, then you can tweak that note a little bit more to give you these other two chords. So I'm really kind of giving you four chords this week, which is a bit much, isn't it? But but really they're all hanging around the same idea. And it's about learning some musical principles that I think you'll find are pretty useful going forward. Now, the other thing I thought I would just touch on is a little bit more about the anatomy of the guitar, just so you know what things are called. I mean, we've got the head, sometimes called the headstock. You've got the tuning machines, which I think we've covered. I can't remember exactly which ones I said before. Um, you've got the nut, head nut. <laughs> you've got the fretboard, obviously, with the frets, and it's also known as the fingerboard. And they're put onto the neck. This is the neck. This is the body. I mean, it's all quite straightforward and logical. This is the sound hole. These are the strings, even though usually not made out of the same stuff you normally make string from. This is a metal strung guitar. You can get nylon strung guitars. Not sure if you can get anything else. <laughs> you could probably think of something else that you could string your guitar from. Then this is called the saddle, that little bit of bone or plastic. That's called the saddle on the bridge. This is the top and this is the back. So. Sometimes it's logical, sometimes not. So the top and the bottom, no, not the bottom, the back. 
of the guitar. Right, so on to the song, which is Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. It's obviously going to use the D chord that we've just learnt, and it goes like this. The world was on fire and no one could save me but you. You can feel free to imitate this voice if you want. It's strange what desire will make foolish people do. I never dreamed that I need somebody like you. I never dreamed that I love somebody like you. No, I don't want to fall in love. Do keep practicing. Don't practice too hard. Don't practice too long. Don't practice too much. Just a little bit every day or most days. You definitely want to have a break. And yeah, if you've got any problems again, always let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>